Here at the bottom of a very long list of trades, you see that as a result of selling options over the past 27 months, I have put net cash into my pocket of $431,383. Pocketing that much cash by selling options is pretty awesome all by itself. However, another thing that's really cool about this journey is that I haven't done it alone. Starting on December 16th of 2020, I began to share all my stock and option trades with my patrons. Now that was a lot of cash secure put options and covered calls as well as a lot of dividends that we've collected and received. But it hasn't been all rainbows and sunshine over the past 27 months. During that time in the US, we had a change in presidents. We dealt with numerous natural disasters around the world. Russia invaded Ukraine, which caused a surge in commodity prices. Inflation soared around the world. The Fed began to hike interest rates at the fastest pace in history, and we experienced all kind of drama in cryptocurrency leading to bank collapses. However, one thing that's been consistent during that time frame is we have continually collected a really nice option premium every month by selling cash secure put options and covered calls. Although at times the return on our account was fairly close to the S&P 500s, most of the time we dominated the return of the S&P 500 by selling options. Here you see a chart of our return in blue compared to the S&P 500's return in green since I started sharing all my trades on December 16th of 2020 with my patrons. Pocketing big wads of cash can be great, but it needs to be done in the right way. If you're taking all kind of wild risk and don't receive adequate compensation for that risk, or if you're risking too much, then it's just a matter of time before your account gets destroyed. So I always like to look at my returns compared to the S&P 500 to see if I had better quality returns. Here we see that over the past 27 months, the maximum drawdown of the S&P 500 was 24.5%. Compare that to our maximum drawdown of only 17.69%. The sharp ratio, which remember you want that to be as high as possible because it means you're better being compensated if the risk you're taking, you see that we dominated the S&P 500 when we compare the sharp ratio of 0.56 in our account compared to 0.13 in the S&P 500. So basically we were compensated four times better for the same level of risk as if we had invested our capital in the S&P 500. And here you see the breakdown of the returns per day with the worst at negative six to negative four and the best days at four to 6% that day. Notice that the SP 500 consistently had more negative days. That means that we consistently had more positive days than the SP 500. Now let me show you how much cash we collected over the past two months, January and February of 2023. But before I show you how much cash we collected, let's look at the quality of our returns. He said that during those two months, the SP 500 had a larger drawdown than we did. So if you've been investing in the SP 500, your account would have dropped more than ours did. And then our Sharpe and Sorrento ratios were both higher than the SP 500, which means that we are better compensated by far for the risk that we took than if we had only been invested in the SP 500. Also, our standard deviation was lower, which means that our returns, they are more consistent and not as wild. So we didn't experience as big of extreme highs and lows as the SP 500 did. In all, 67% of our trading days were positive as compared to only 53% for the S&P 500. And here you see the distribution of returns by day. Notice the S&P 500 in the green bars that it experienced a lot more negative return days as compared to our account in the blue bars. Now let's look at the actual cash we put into our pocket. Notice in the blue box that as a result of selling options, cash secured and covered call options, over the past two months in January and February of 2023, we collected over $31,000 in option premium. That includes buying to close options we had previously sold and selling to open new ones. In the red box, you see trading commission cost us $198 for these two months. We pocketed $1,877 in dividends. We were paid $1,800 in interest. Finally, data fees cost us just over $65. So as a result of selling cash secure put options, covered calls, and doing some poor man's covered calls, Collecting some dividends and also some interest, we put a net of $34,579 cash into our pocket over the past two months. If you'd like to see all the trades we did over the past two months in this main option trading account, I post that monthly statement for everyone to see, patrons and non-patrons on my Patreon account. The link is in the description below. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do stock and option trades, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how we generated over $430,000 over the past 27 months, mainly by selling put options, 
Check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled Selling Put Options Explained with Real Life Examples. Until next time, happy investing. We'll see you again soon.